Hey, it's Jeremy. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the offset path. So I've got this rocket here. And what we're going to do, we're going to offset this path. So in order to do that, we've got to select our object. Object, then we go path and offset path. So you'll get this little bo um, box up and it will give you a few options here. So make sure the preview box on the left hand side is ticked so we can preview it. And you can see what it's doing. What it pretty much is doing is grabbing our object or our shape or path and it's pretty much just offsetting it from that original spot. So um, my offset right now is 10 pi pixels but if I start, I can just sc scroll my mouse wheel over the offset and you can see the path is going inwards now. Just like that, you see how it starts disappearing because there's no more pixels within that shape to go. And so if I go back up like this, also a trick is if you hold shift, you can do it quicker. It goes up by 10 pixels instead of one. So you can see how the path is being manipulated. Um, if you wanted to round the corners, what we can do here, you see how the joins are mil milter, mitter. I don't know how to pronounce it, but pretty much that just makes the path um, sort of original like the original path, um, but just squares it off like normal. Or if you want to round the corners, I can click round. You can see on the bottom of the um, the rocket that it's actually rounded off those corners. Or we can go bevel, which pretty much squares it off to make it sort of like a bevel type of look. Um, and also you can change the limit here. Um, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I just usually leave it on four on the standard. Um, and what you're gonna do is press okay. So now if I select both of these, we've got two paths. So we've got um, the one in front and then the one in back. So it's really handy to do offset paths. Um, it's good if you want to minus out shapes or if you're doing a logo or something like that. Um, you can do, like if you want to do like 100% spacing, make it perfect, you just do this. I'll do about two or three paths and then I'll just shape build it to a minus it out. And you can see you get this like cool stroke look. Um, this is how you make stickers and if you want to create like a white outline or black outline for like um, the logo or whatever you're doing um, then this is the easiest way to do it. Um, some people would say you can do a stroke if you want. Um, you can see I've just added a stroke. You can do it this way but then to if you want to edit that you've got to expand the shape and then you've got to you know select it make sure um, it's in the right space and then you've got to minus it out and you can do it that way but I prefer to have an um, offset path because you can edit that path um, it's a lot easier than doing it with a stroke so yeah I hope this, you enjoy this video guys and I'll catch you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe for more videos each week